one of the greatest ways the devil cheat men is isolation when god isolates you to something he connects you to something is the devil that isolates you to destroy you anytime you find that you are offended by everybody you know you are under attack because at the junction of the end of yourself god connects you with someone i have always realized this you can't hate everybody because god has a lot of systems put in place on the air to ensure that mankind encounter him so per adventure you meet a system and you were disappointed god connected to another system if you come to a point one day and you felt that you are okay in shakaina yes maybe your time and season is over here god will connect with another again that is how life works but the danger there is this many people come to a point where they are offended by everybody we look at your life there is no one working in purpose no one that genuinely love god that is surrounded by you and you realize you think you are wise it is a strategic plan by the kingdom of babel to ensure that you are ostracized from zion so that you can be in a civilization of babel and be destroyed because the difference between babylon and babel is that babylon has a system of lordship and rulership babel is an ambition but both of them do not reach to god whether babylon whether babel god is interested in destroying them when a man isolates himself from a society or from god what he does is that he wants to build for himself a name sometimes he wants to increase in himself sometimes he said i just want to forget about this god let me organize my life let me do this do this do this what do you try to do what we call babel because now even the devil you are not interested you want to manipulate your way to go up you want to build a tower that will reach heaven going to the top is not by a man you are sum up you are called higher you can't ascend because the ladder are too invisible and that is the reason why babel cannot stand god himself will fight it another way that men do is through babylon and babylon has a system already they can borrow you and empower you they have enough of the magician the astrologer they have enough demonic princes that can help you give you an ascendancy but as babylon take you up they will bring you down again that is why you must be able to understand that when you are going to fulfill purpose you must study the lifestyle of those that fulfill it and replicate it find out the laws in guiding to the region the system where you are called into understand the law of power understand the law of value understand the law of influence understand the law of leadership find out how power works find out how intelligence works find out how wisdom works don't just say i want to be powerful no like who as how how god anointed jesus with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil at 10 38 it that makes you understand that there's a reason a purpose why god anointed jesus i want to be powerful like who like the babala in your village to cause evil in the life of men so you need to be able to understand the reason why you need what you need matters to god more i want to be wise to what intent to manipulate many ladies i mean to manipulate many guys because many of you are too wise you have 13 boyfriend and up to now they have not caught you and many of you young men are too wise too because you have 10 girlfriends and you visit them each and every one and all of them they look as though they really mean a value to you but you know you lied and the wisdom god gives to you now you use it in advancing a system of babel and the system of babylon because all is your ambition i want to let you know that the gods are wise you think the gods are foolish they give you that privilege for a moment after a while they will tell your days are numbered and you have been way now you have found wanted all your economy as you are joining with us your transaction and now you say no i want to repay again the sacrifice so we need no sacrifice somebody want to replace you your season are over only god gives a man relevance eternally that is why no matter how you do after that green rain for a while as he was going he died that was not part of the plan he thought babel can guide him he thought babylon can guide him but after a while they said that furnace was made for you come and die it's only in heaven that they give you salutation when you walk in righteousness so find out the laws and the intelligence of power find out how it works you are called to the legal sector what do you know about it i was in awe. i was telling the lawyers because it was the lawyers that invited me i said you need to pray more why because it will be hard for a lawyer to go to heaven you survive by lying part of your job is to change what is right to become wrong i said now let's start praying come and see prayer 
because an average lawyer was designed he was taught to lie the same way an average pharmacy was a pharmacist pharmacist was trained to create drugs that cannot cure but to be prevented so that is business pharmacy is business nobody will give you a drug that will cure sickness is a lie they would rather give you the one that will maintain it and cannot prevent it for a while then after three months you go again you're looking for malaria drugs again there is a drug that they can give you that mosquito can never cause malaria to you again but they will never give you because if they give you you will buy one and never buy again who will not be selling it how will they make their money it's a multi-billionaire company so they will forever keep on lying even if there's a discovery for you they say don't bring this one here give them the one that after three weeks they will come back again that is how we make money so if god is going to judge in righteousness how are we going to make heaven because all of us are guilty because the law is a schoolmaster it was designed to ensure that our working in righteousness is compromised then how does a man fulfill calling and how do you fulfill your purpose in life if you don't have to lie yet again you are a preacher and now you are suffering to eat is a hard thing yet again you are anointed or does your mate have gone higher your mate are having this they're having that if you are beclouded and you look upon the cloud and all what you behold is light inside darkness that this guy's heart you are doomed because the same way you don't know that maybe their days are numbered and they are given two years you your days are, does not have an end and yet again you desire a man that his days are numbered the bible says envy know the way of the wicked because it's always numbered go through the process delay the gratification and in the days of reckoning god can salute you and that one in that day will be looking for his life because his life is gone you have control over your life because it's hidden in god that one don't have control anytime he tries to sleep a babala will sit down somewhere and hit him again he never bring one blood to he with him again tomorrow bring one he with him again then the guy will go out in the street and begin to spray money upon ladies because now he's under pressure to bring the sacrifice and he will use everything he has to bring the sacrifice before he can rest envy not the way of the wicked they are not fulfilled they are not happy when they do the things they do 